briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Murray Stewart, a county engineer for Hines County, Mississippi, found himself in the center of a legal whirlwind in 1978. Having been accused of mistreating Thomas Stubblefield, a county employee who sought relief over his work situation after jury service, Stewart was on the receiving end of a legal misfire. Stubblefield had faced issues at work due to his civic duty, but details regarding the conversation between Stubblefield and Judge Harold Cox, discussing the alleged transfer made by Stewart without Stubblefield's knowledge, still remain vague. Upon the release of the initial verdict, Stewart was condemned guilty of contempt. The case was mistakenly treated as a civil matter when it was, in truth, a criminal proceeding. More alarmingly, there were unanswered questions regarding the way the whole process unfolded. The court defaulted on several accounts, violating Stewart's rights in the process. A vital point of contention was whether Stewart's actions were justified or if they veered on the side of maltreatment. The paucity of hard-hitting evidence against him raised further doubts. In essence, the prosecution could not convince the court of the purported demotion being a consequence of Stubblefield's jury service. Stewart's due process rights were compromised. He wasn't informed of his right to counsel, denied a feasible opportunity to enlist witnesses, and was asked about potential evidence only post the U.S. Attorney's case presentation and cross-examination. Upon appeal, the drama took on another tone altogether. Challenging the flawed court proceedings, it was determined that the prosecution failed to comply with the overarching Rule 42, making a claim without supporting evidence of contempt under 18 U.S.C. Section 401. As per the law, this section applies to contempt in the immediate vicinity of the court or to misconduct by court officials during official transactions. The lawsuit culminated with a fitting win. The Court of Appeals unanimously decided to overturn the conviction entirely, ordering a full repayment of Stewart's fine. It underscored the federal attorney's duty to represent a sovereign impartially and ensure justice in criminal prosecutions, reminding everyone that a ruling must be built on robust legal due process and convincing evidence. Consequently, the procedural errors led to the dismissal of the criminal contempt proceedings against Stewart. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.